Jim in Ziello, and uh, I'm working on a game called Planet's Core with uh, my friend Ed, who is a programmer. And Ed is actually the guy who started the project. I'm providing the art and the effects and uh, animation, pretty much everything in the regards of the visual side of uh, gameplay. Uh, he's actually going to be doing all the programming, and um, we are probably going to be splitting up the design between both of us. So anyway, uh, welcome to the first. Oh, welcome to the first episode of uh, Jim talking about art and doing stuff. Uh, all right, so today we created a little thing on the MakerBot. I have a studio called Unicron Studios, and it is all about making things in 3D and then printing them. So what we're looking at is my tripod, which I'm about to put this camera on, and this is my little holder that I made. Printed it out on the MakerBot today. It's pretty neat. And that only took uh, about an hour and 20 minutes, and it's uh, just a two-part thing that I assembled. And it fits right in there. Right, right in the little slots. As you guys have probably seen one of these before, if you ever had a tripod. Anyway, I'm going to be putting the camera in that, and then I'll be talking to you about what I'm working on tonight. Alright. Okay, so right now, I'm working on this little particle effect over here. It's going to be sort of a energy loss effect. Uh, let's introduce some of the characters so far. I created a robot and it's sort of an energy slug. And there's a little enemy dude. Alright, anyway, so what I'm going to do here is basically figure out if this effect will go well inside this character. And I think what I need to do is take that character and put the effect inside the spine. And I think that spine number there. Yeah, that one. Alright, so we're going to basically have it leaking out of his chest. And I'll we'll just take this leaky robot uh, prefab that I have made and stick it inside spine number two. Alright, and let's turn that out. <laughs> that, that looks awful. <laughs> Looks like he's urinating at a very high rate of speed. And now he dies. And the effect looks awful, so we will fix that. Alright, well, anyway. Uh, as you can see, there's a very iterative process when you add stuff. Um, it may look good in one way, but when you start moving it around, it may do exactly not what you want. Um, I already have an idea what I'm going to do, and I will probably show that to you after I do it, which will take a little bit of time, so I'm going to work on that right now. And my cat's going to throw up a hairball. Okay, so it looks like we've already got it looking a little better. And uh, let's 
just run this and see what happens. Oh, okay. Looks like the inertia is a little wrong, but uh, overall, I like the, uh, the kind of glowy, circly stuff. I think it looks pretty good. All right, well, uh, we'll fix that inertia stuff, and uh, that's uh, pretty much all we need to know for today. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, anyway, that was uh, some stuff from Planet's Core, and uh, I am Jim Yellow, and I am working with 2-Bit Entertainment. Ed Norris and I are making a game, and we would like you to check out some of our future uh, conversations and and talks. Uh, today uh, he was actually just mentioning uh, maybe doing a Vita platform exclusive for Planet's Core, and we are going to be having a discussion about that soon and talking about the pros and cons of uh, developing for uh, the Vita. And uh, so that should go probably pretty interesting. Um, I hope maybe you uh, might have seen something that you didn't know about before, or, or maybe my cat's just going to destroy things. Alright, well, we have two cats here in my house. Um, one is Captain Pumpkin, who is currently making a nuisance of himself, which he's really good at. And uh, the other one is uh, Black Jacks. And these two cats are actually going to be featured, and uh, one is already featured, in my online comic called pirate-cats.com piratecats.com um, it's basically a story about pirate cats um, in the future like after humans are gone so it's sort of uh, rehashing a uh, retelling of history uh, through a new evolved species about that. Uh, so yeah, I am an artist, a modeler of 3D things. Um, I've been doing special effects for about um, about seven, eight years now. And I have worked for a video game company and also for lots of other stuff. Uh, I've done uh, military contracting and uh, training snipers and uh, how to shoot and uh, NASA work. That was kind of cool. Um, anyway, right now I am currently looking for a new gig and uh, we're working on this game together. So uh, hopefully you guys will be interested in what we come up with and uh, can't wait to get that out and let you all see the planet's core in its glory. Uh, anyway, um, that might be all for now, but uh, tune in next time. Um, hopefully I'll do another update really soon and uh, maybe show you some more uh, Planet's Core effects as I make them. Um, basically I won't show you the drawing part because that's kind of boring. <laughs> it takes me a little bit of time and uh, yeah, I, I really have to be in the zone. Um, particle effects are more iterative so I can just sort of play with them, uh, tweak them. I, I know the values of stuff so I can just sort of put in numbers and uh, uh, do that while talking. So I might be able to do that a little bit more of the particle effect stuff. But uh, anyway, um, hope to hear from you guys. Um, leave comments and that kind of thing. And I guess that's it. So until next time. Here. I'll play us out. Uh -huh.